thanks for stopping by. The Unfrumpy Mommy here, and today I want to come to you to share my organized kitchen. All right, ladies, so it's 2016, the start of a brand new year. Time for us to get rid of all the dusty, dirty, old, crusty things in the kitchen from 2015 that we're no longer using. And today, I just wanted to come in really quick and show you how I have kind of decluttered and organized um, my kitchen. So let's get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna start right here with the cabinets up top. Yeah, we have a napkin fetish. Seriously, we um, we have a theater room upstairs and we found this neat little container for napkins. I believe we got it from Amazon. The only thing is it did not come with napkins and the napkins that will fit in there are, you know, they're very specialized. It's, it's a certain size that will fit. So it's basically the, when you go to the, a fast food restaurant, the napkin dispenser's on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it looks like a, a, yeah. a restaurant napkin dispenser. It's yeah. really cute up in the theater room. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video on that. Um, but so we ended up having to go to a local restaurant supply store here to actually purchase some of the napkins that would fit. And the only thing is they only sold the napkins in these huge cases. So we ended up having to buy them in bulk. So guys, if you're ever in need of napkins, just drop by my house. So are that's it. Are you going to talk about how when you use a cookbook, it never works out for you or are you going to skip over that? I have a lot of cookbooks. Well, I don't, I don't really have a lot of cookbooks, but it's like I'll use a cookbook one time and then I never go back to visit it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But you know what? You really don't need cookbooks now with the internet, you know? Yeah. Um, Allrecipes.com is my favorite um, site to get recipes, but we're not talking about recipes. All right. So right beneath, but right beneath that cabinet is this drawer. And I think I've talked about these soft closed drawers before. We love this feature in the house, in this kitchen. Um, but in here, this is like our little uh, catch-all drawer or junk drawer, if you will. So in this little file folder here, we keep some of our larger coupons. We keep some of the housekeeping stuff. <laughs> These little books here, Angie's List. Very, very great resource if you have a home or, you know, an apartment or whatever, and you need um, contractors, things like this. Angie's List is an awesome resource. It's not free, Eric. How much is, is the service? Um, it's about... Uh... 10 bucks a year, but like you said, if you need to hire an electrician or a plumber or Very anybody to come do work, yes, it's a good site. It's yeah. worth it. All right, so that's that drawer. Let's see. Oh, let's go right beneath that drawer. So under here, not a whole lot. <laughs> that particular shelf is empty. Um, however, underneath there, we have just a plethora of these little... Little, we use them for, you can use these for grocery bags when you go to Whole Foods, you know, they don't, um, you know, bag your stuff there, and, you know, in regular bags. But what we like to use these bags for is um, primarily for travel. These are great when you are taking long flights. We actually took a couple of these with us when we were on our flight to Hawaii. Um, we don't like to be at the mercy of Delta when it comes to food. I like to snack on long trips. So we pack away different snacks and things for us uh, when we travel. These are also great too if you have kids with uh, food allergies. Uh, let's see. Also, if your flight is a... Uh you know, if you fly enough, eventually you'll get delayed and get stuck on a oh, runway yeah. or something where you won't have access to food. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's good to pack great. So you have smaller kids. Disney makes great little bags like these. They sell these and you can, you know, pack your kids things away. And speaking of Hawaii, Eric, do you remember this one? I don't know if you'll remember this oh, one. Oh, from a Target. Yeah, Hawaii. we went yeah. to, our flight was taking forever. You know, you have to check out the hotel at 11 o'clock, but our flight was like way, way over into the day. So we just went by the Target there and picked up a few things. And um, this is one of the bags that we purchased. So we... All right, over to this cabinet. Again, not a whole lot. In here, I store a little, um, just a few of the uh, entertainment runoff items, the things that I don't store in the pantry, I kind of put in here, just some mints and things. You know, when you have guests over, you can put these in a nice little container and sit them out for your guests. Uh, this little this little stand here 
when you're entertaining you know ladies you want to put your menu out for your guests so that they can see what you're serving so this is where I keep that Oops. and that's pretty much it for that cabinet all right okay right below there another junk drawer and as you can see ladies there is there really isn't a whole lot like I said in 2016 we've really tried to make sure we have decluttered and um, you know gotten rid of the things that we're not using so just a few um, little notepads things that you want to jot down for groceries or scissors I don't know why uh, this is Eric's idea why do we need this whole puncher that is not my idea I don't know why that whole puncher that's right. your homeschooling at work that's fine <laughs> So yeah, staples and stapler. Yep, that's that's that drawer. Beneath there, listen, do not make fun of, this is my favorite, I covet this. This is my pancake maker. If you know me, then you know I just, I love pancakes. So this has gotten used, all right? And I like to store it on um, a towel just to catch any, you know, oil or anything that may still be lingering on the bottom. And then beneath there, just some little platters, and I, we've had those forever. So moving up here, we have a lot of cabinets in this kitchen, ladies, in this kitchen. So up here, really nothing. That is just my little ice bucket, and um, it's housed up there, and that's the only thing that's in this particular cabinet. All right. This is a really neat feature here on the island. In there, I just, you know, house a few candles and things. So uh, several of those shelves are actually empty. But I love that it's just housed right here on the corner. You wouldn't even know that it was there. This is the pantry. If you have not checked out the pantry video, ladies, please do yourself a favor and go ahead and check out that video. I will leave the link below. But I want to show you real quick. I'm not sure if I showed this in that particular pantry video. So there are some, this is a, a little, um, little buffet actually that we purchased from Hobby Lobby and there's storage on it so I love that in here we store the straws our uh, plastic forks we love using you know the plastic utensils here in the house it kind of cuts down on the dishwashing um, Eric has stored some unauthorized items in here those are the manuals for all of our appliances mm -hmm. yeah has no business in my pantry right and um just a few smaller menus uh frames that i use for uh menus or play settings all right so that's what's in there so uh, all right and that's it can i have a croissant oh you like a croissant ladies i love none of these items are real I'm not sure if you can tell that but um hobby lobby while we were in there purchasing uh, this buffet you know you just walk around getting stuff that you don't need i just thought when I'm not using my uh, cake plates, cake plates, it would just be really neat to house some little, you know, faux breads and cakes and thing in here, things in here. You know, just making it really, really fun. So, love those. All right, so again, that was the pantry. I will be sure to leave the link for that video below. So, over the microwave and the oven, we have another cabinet and it is empty. This cabinet has never been used. There are only three of us in the house, so we do not have a lot of dishes. Thereby meaning we have a lot of storage left over. We don't have a, we don't have a whole lot of stuff. Um, so I guess that's a good thing. All right, so underneath the microwave, the oven, we have this particular drawer here. All right, again, the things that I do have in here, the dishes, the pans and things, we do use them. So that one's a little, it's its broken in, all right? Um, and then I have a large cutting board down there. In this particular cabinet, I like to house my plates and my salad and cereal bowls. Again, not a whole lot because there are only three people. There are only three people living here. These upper shelves are actually empty. What I like to do, ladies, is, um, if you take a look at the pantry video and as you move move with us throughout the kitchen, I like to buy uh, white plates and things. Not only are the white ones a little bit cheaper, but also if you chip one, break one, have to replace it. Having white dishes, you can't really tell unless you're looking really, really hard that the set, that, that the set isn't matching up. So um, I really love just purchasing the white, the white uh, 
white dishes. So that's what's in this particular cabinet. Oh, and these racks that I have here. Bed, back and beyond. I love those because sometimes the little bitty plates are kind of unstable and this kind of helps with that. So these are bed, back and beyond. I think those are only like six, seven bucks. So not bad at all. All right, this particular drawer here. Just some cutting boards, measuring spoons, measuring cups. And oh, let me tell you guys about these little trays right here. We just, these are our favorites. We live by these things. We love to sit to the table and eat dinner on these trays. Every day we use these. And I will give you guys a little breakfast or kitchenette tour. The reason why we use these, because we have um, our kitchenette, did you call it your kitchenette or your breakfast area furniture is really, really light. We have natural woods and really light fabrics. So these really help with the spills. You know, when you have guys in the house, they don't tend to eat as neat as us ladies. That's not true. Move so on. we have to have little tools in place to help with that. And these were like $2 at... Uh, and we also use those in the movie room. Yeah, right, these are great for the this. movie room too. We have some of these upstairs in the movie room, but we purchased these from Ikea and they were just like $2 or something like that. Not expensive at all. So, love those. So that's that drawer. So this drawer pulls towards you. We just have some roasting pans, pans for brownies and things like that. A uh, cooling rack there. We have that cooling rack from Ikea. And then underneath, just cake pans, muffin, muffin pans, things like, like that. So not a whole lot, but what we do have is very, very neat and organized. In this particular area of the kitchen, you know, I've gone back and forth, back and forth, ladies. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but it is really hard to keep this area of the kitchen neat because, you know, pans come in different sizes, the lids come in different sizes, and, you know, everything wants to lay and turn the way that it wants to, but I think I kind of have it organized here now in a way that's a little bit more manageable for me. So I love these little racks right here. Again, I purchased these from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I kind of, you know, have positioned my lids in there and it really helps to keep them stable. And I've also had enough room to kind of put my muffin pans in there and the racks that my uh, taller pots are sitting on. I love those. It, it kind of keep, it kind of helps those to be elevated and then I can scoop some things underneath there. And I purchased those little shelves from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. All right guys, over here. Now, I know that I just said I like to purchase white plates. However, in the fall, you know, it starts to get a little bit cool and you, around that time you start eating more of your little heartier, more festive meals. And I think using the browns and the golds and the yellow plates really helps to kind of, you know, usher in that new season. So this is where I keep those particular plates. And again, not a whole lot. The upper two shelves are empty. Right beneath that group of cabinets, we have, you know, just our larger utensils. This is the spice area of the kitchen. Okay. Eric actually came up with the design for the spice jars. So thank you, babe, for that. Uh, these jars here, I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. You have your baking soda, baking powder, uh, red pepper flakes. These jars here, though, were like almost nothing. And these are bed, bath, and beyond. So that's what we house there. Nice and neat, really easy to get to and to keep clean. All right. And beneath there, I just have some of my, you know, measuring glasses, my sifters, my strainers. So that's down there. Just some of, just some of my little um, mixing bowls. Various sizes, small, medium, and large. Okay. All right, over here. Another point of frustration in the kitchen. I know I am not alone when I say at least twice a week you're looking for the lid to a container or vice versa. And I've tried, you know, several ways to keep, I don't know, the, the, the plastic containers, the storage containers organized. So finally decided to go with this, just keeping the containers and the lids together. And you know, when you have to throw one away, let's see, I have a few who are probably on their way out. When you throw one away, 
throw the lid away with it. When you throw the container away, I've learned to throw the lid away because you'll at the, you know, you'll come in here and maybe you want to clean out one day and you'll have all these lids, but you'll have one container because you've been throwing the containers out and not throwing the lids away. So, and over here, I don't know, this is an awkward sized cabinet. So I haven't really decided or figured out what I want to store in here. So right now that guy is empty. Speaking of empty, this is our Lazy Susan. At one point, we did have the plastic containers stored down here, but it just really created a mess. So that guy is empty right now as well, but I love that feature. I'll figure out one day what I want to put in there. All right, guys, and under the sink, I believe you guys have already seen this particular area, but nothing fancy here. Just three containers, and we purchased these containers from the Dollar Tree. We just house all of our little, you know, cleaning things in there. Sponges, vinegar. I've talked about what I use vinegar for in the kitchen before in another video, so I'll leave a link for that video below. So another fancy there. All right, guys, and over in this cabinet, the theme continues with not a whole lot of dishes, just some mugs, the bottom and the top, shelves are empty just some glasses and we don't typically use glasses on a day-to-day -day basis we like to use our little plastic cups that we you know get from the grocery store so that's that all right this particular area i've shown in another video this is my coffee station as you can see i need to replenish a few of my cake cups but i'll leave the link for this particular video below in the description box. All right guys, so the last area in the kitchen, the island, it's my boo. Um, <laughs> there's some drawers underneath here. Here we just have, you know, just your everyday items, your spoons, your knives, your forks, you know. And uh, these particular containers here, these two, we actually purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. This one here is home goods. So that's what we store there, all right? Right beneath there. I love this feature. I love it, I love it. These two drawers, or uh, shelves, they actually pull towards you. And you know, just some of my glass baking dishes uh, over here. I don't know how this guy made it into 2016, but it's on its way out. It has to be replaced. My beaters are all bent. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, that's what's there. So right underneath there, I store my waffle maker. And again, I just make sure I store a little towel underneath there to catch any, you know, oil drips. So that's that. All right, moving over here, we're almost finished. Um, just our straws, trash bags, chip clips, chopsticks, and skewers. So very nice and organized. And under here, I dare not pull this out all the way. This is our trash, and I don't think um, there is something in here. It's not bad, but um, love this feature because you don't have to have a designated space somewhere else in the kitchen for your trash. It's all hidden away right here. So this is a great feature. It looks just like the rest of the cabinets in the kitchen. All right, oh, down here, again, love how these trays pull out. These are just our, you know, our little water bottles. These right here, these three, one for me, Eric and Chase, love these. We purchased these to take to the Grand Canyon, guys. They have not only the little spout for your water, but it has a little um, mister on it too. And these really came in handy uh, during that particular vacation. All right, and then just, you know, your blenders and things like that stored neatly underneath. And guys, I think that is it. Uh, you, got, you got to do your towels. Oh, and guys, the last drawer, the towels, the hand towels for the kitchen. You know you want to, you want to have, you know, towels on hand when you're cleaning up real quick spills or, you know, washing a small dish or two. Um, you'll find that in our house, we only use white towels. So the way that we differentiate between the towels in the kitchen and the towels that we use in our bathroom, we like to just cut a little slit. So after they've washed, we know that if there's a slit, that means that one goes into the kitchen. And um, as you can see here, babe, you can kind of come in a little bit. They do fray, but it's no big deal. They're very inexpensive. I have some here. These are from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're only $4.99 $4 and you get um, six to a pack. So they get kind of rotated out real frequently. That is it, guys. That is it. <laughs>
Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how I organized my kitchen for 2016. And so until next time, ladies, don't be a frumpy mommy. Bye, ladies. <laughs>